If following the crowd made you money, then everybody would be rich. And recently, the crowd has been selling. Hello and welcome to today's Daily Blitz. Now, Nikolai is not in today, so it is just me. And today's video, I'd just like to sum up a few of my thoughts on the recent market mayhem spurred by the coronavirus. Now, interestingly, it appears that Google's search interest for the coronavirus has peaked. And if you take a look at this chart, courtesy of the market ear, you can see that on days when interest in the coronavirus has gone down, the Chinese stock market has gone up, which makes a certain amount of sense if you consider that interest in the coronavirus, it means fear about the subject, would make the Chinese stock market go down, while apathy would allow it to rise. And if you take a look at Chinese web search interest in coronavirus and coronavirus-related terms, it does appear to be going down. However, this is, of course, course, incredibly politically sensitive information. And you could imagine that it may not really be completely reliable. But if we just look purely at what's gone on in the market, over the last week, $20 billion worth of investment funds have liquidated their holdings. So this is retail investor fear, which has probably been driven by the coronavirus, or fear that the coronavirus will cause a global recession. And so if we take a look at the CNN Fear and Greed Index, which uses uh, both economic and market-based factors to give a sort of a gauge as to whether or not the market is feeling fearful or greedy, we see quite a strong extreme fear reading. But as I've highlighted on the bottom of this chart, you can see that it appears to be on the uptick, which would mean that we could see a big relief rally on the way forward. There is a caveat, of course, to this, which is if we see an awful lot more cases of the coronavirus occurring throughout Western Europe, uh, throughout the US, there were uh, some in Washington State, yesterday, uh, we may well see way more of this fear to come, so way more selling to come. Way back in 2018, when there was uh, an awful lot of fear in the market, similar to today, but over a much more extended period, you had retail investors selling $70 billion worth of their stock, which is an awful lot more than the $20 billion we have seen in the last week. So there may be more fear to come, especially if you see uh, more of a spread of the coronavirus throughout the Western Europe and in the States. But that sums up today's Daily Blitz. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell down below, and we'll see you in the next one.